Hello everyone! In this video I would like to show an example of a recommended MST configuration where MST region is the root. So let's get started. Let's review recommended configuration for interoperability between MST and for example PVST plus switches. So in this configuration MST region is configured at the root bridge which ensures that all uh, region boundary ports flood the same IST instance BP due to all the VLANs in the PVST topology. IST root needs to have higher priority than any other switch in the PVST plus topology. The MST region appears as a single entity and the PVST plus switches detect the, uh, detect the alternate links and place them into blocking state. The IST root is uh, the root for all PVST plus instances on SW3 and SW3 blocks one of its uplink. So uh, in our example we have uh, our MST region consisting of two switches and we have SW3 switch which is PVST plus. So um, in this situation uh, SW3 switch considers uh, our MST region as uh, a single entity, a single switch, uh, which is a root bridge, and it blocks uh, one of its uplinks, uh, for example, this one. In this case, interaction between MST region and PVST plus is optimal. Port cost on uplink ports of SW3 can be tuned to achieve load balancing on uh, VLAN by VLAN basis on each uplink. And uplink fast can be used as well on SW3 switch. Let's try recommended configuration where MST region is the root. So we have the same topology that we had in the previous examples. We have three switches. Uh, at the moment they are running PVST and I'm gonna make I'm gonna configure SW1 and SW2 switch uh, to run MST and they're going to be in the same MST region. And um, SW1 I'm going to make uh, as the root for all instances. And SW3 I'm going to leave in PVST and see uh, if we're going to have connectivity between hosts. I pre-configured VLANs uh, on all switches. They have VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. And these ports face into uh, hosts they are already in the uh, corresponding VLANs for example G01 interface in VLAN 10 and here G02 in VLAN 20. So let's go show spanning tree you can see and this is the root bridge for now for all VLANs and this switch is running PVST protocol. So conf t spanning 3 mode MST spanning 3 MST configuration uh, name MST a revision number 1 instance 1 VLAN 10 I'm gonna map uh, both VLANs into the same instance number 1 and instance the VLAN 20 also goes to instance 1 and spanning 3 MST now I'm gonna make this um, switch at the root bridge for all, for all MSTs so we can we use uh, 0 from 0 to 1 and we have two options either priority or root I'm gonna use priority and then we are gonna set bridge priority 4096 and then let's go to switch sw2 show spanning 3 and we can see that there is no mst show run spanning 3 uh, there is pvst running at the moment conf t spanning 3 mode mst Spanning 3 MST configuration revision 1 uh, name MST instance 1 VLAN 10 instance 1 VLAN 20 so configuration is done let's check show spanning 3 
uh, MST zero has a root port facing switch SW1 and MST1 the same and we can see that G03 interface is boundary port and it should have it should be the same for this switch for switch SW1 so G03 facing SW3 switch is boundary port for both instances uh, MST is OK and let's go and see what we have on our switch SW3 where PVC is running so we have G01 root port, G02 is in blocking state for VLAN 1, the same situation for VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So run is parent 3. Sparring 3 mode PVST. Okay, uh, let's go and check our if we have connectivity. As I said, um, PC1 and PC3 they are in the same VLAN 10 and the, the VLANs are already configured, ports are already configured, so we can use, we can just ping, ping from PC1, we can ping PC3, we can see that we have connectivity and PC, okay, we can ping PC4 from PC2. We have connectivity. Now, uh, everything is working, everything is configured, uh, we have MST region on two switches and we have interoperability between MST and PVST protocols and as I said in the previous slide that um, MST region is going to send um, IST VPDUs to PVST switch with uh, all VLANs. So let's go and check what we have on our switch SW3. Uh, the bugs. Ah, first I'm gonna change the hello time to see BPDUs more in more appropriate way. Conf T, spanning 3 MST, hello. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna change it to 10 and go see the bugs, spanning 3, and then we have option BPDU and receive. See you. So let's see. Let's see where are our PPDUs. Okay, they are coming. So what we have here, we received uh, PPDU for VLAN one on G01 interface for VLAN ten on G0 one interface and for VLAN 20 on G01 interface. The same for G02 interface. So we are receiving uh, PPDUs for our VLANs on our interfaces. So this is done. Thank you very much. At this point, I would like to say thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I wish you success in your studying and I hope to see you soon. Ciao, ciao!